if you could take it No, you wanna see me naked, naked, naked I wanna be a baby, baby, baby Spin it Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I'm just going to jump straight into it. I'm going to be prepping my eyes with my MAC 24 hour eye base. This is going to help all my colors to stay on and to show up really bright. Next for my crease, I'm going to be using Brown Scripts Eyeshadow. This is also by MAC. Majority of the shadows I'm using are from MAC to be honest. I'm just using a 224 brush to blend that out. And then to further darken up the crease, I'm using Embark Eyeshadow on a 217 brush. And then because I'm doing a halo eye, I'm going to be using this black eyeshadow called Carbon. Um, I'm going to be putting it on my outer corners and my very inner corners. And you want to make sure you're blending it up into the crease as well, but not further than where the embark is. And then I'm going back in with my 217 and I'm just going to be diffusing out any harsh lines around the edges and also bringing that up into the crease area. In the very middle I'm just going to apply a little bit of concealer and then I'm going to use my finger to kind of dab it out just to blend it out a little bit better. And this is a Copper Sparkle Pigment from MAC. I love this pigment. I actually am just going to wet my um, 239 brush from MAC a little bit with some Fix Plus and go in with this color, just in the very center. Next, I'm just going to be using my NYC Liquid Liner. To be honest, I don't think this liner is available anymore because I can't find it anywhere. Um, so yeah, just use whatever black liner you like. Um, so on my bottom lash line, I'm using some orange eyeshadow. I don't remember the name. I think it's Red Brick from MAC, of course, and then some Embark right over top of it. And then I'm going to be lining my eyes with just a dark gray eyeliner. You can't even really see it, so you can probably just use a black instead. I didn't really want it to show up. So for my primer for my face, I'm using the Natural Radiance Primer by MAC, of course, I always use that primer. And then the foundation that I always use is the NC50 mixed with NC45 in the Waterproof Foundation for MAC. I love this foundation because it does stay on all day, all night. And it's not matte, it gives my skin like a really nice satin finish. I'm just blending that out with a Real Techniques blending sponge. And to highlight my eyes, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC45. And then guys, usually I don't do this in my videos and I always say I don't do this, but only when I'm going out I will bake underneath my eyes with this much powder. Um, this that I'm using is the Ben Nye Banana Powder. I have not used this in so long, um, mainly because I haven't gone out in so long. But whenever I do go out, I will use this powder. So basically now I'm just brushing it away with a uh, powder brush and I, I believe I'm using some of my Mineralized Skin Finish to help blend it away as well. And the shade I use is Dark. And then to contour, I'm just going in with my MAC Studio Fix Powder in the shade NW50. Just running that on my forehead and then of course the hollows of my cheeks. And then I'm using the blush called Raisin just to warm up my cheeks a little bit. Now guys, this, I love this product, it's the MAC Essential Oil Stick. I love to use this whenever I want my highlight to be super glowy, especially when I'm out at night. 
Um, basically it's like a care blend oil in a stick form and I'm just putting it on with a dual fiber brush. Right on top of that I'm applying my Sparkling Dust by Inglot and oh my god look at that guy. Can you imagine what those two things look like together once the oil starts to warm up on my skin? It looks like butter shining on my face. So I'm just running that on my nose as well and then off camera I applied some lashes. They're the Broadway lashes in number 43. I always use those lashes. And then for my lips I'm just lining with chestnut lip liner. This is my favorite lip liner by MAC. Have to have it like three of them in my drawer at all times. And then the lipstick I'm using is called Tropic Tonic. It's like a nice kind of um, it's like a dark peachy orangey lip color. And I'm just going over that with a nude um, lip gloss. And this is called Obviously Bare by MAC. Now for the hair. I literally just washed it maybe a couple hours ago. So it air dried and now I'm flat ironing it out. This is the Unice hair in the Peruvian straight. And guys, I've reviewed this hair many times on my channel. You can click the links below to check those out. The last time I ordered this hair it was the Brazilian straight and I don't really like Brazilian hair, I prefer Peruvian so I'm much much more happy with this hair. Probably going to do a separate review on the hair itself to be honest but I'm just showing you how easy it is to just flat iron the hair out. It's so silky, so soft, so smooth and there it is. So I'm just going to continue flat ironing it and, and I did cut some layers in it. I'll leave the details for the lengths and everything in the description box below. So I just went ahead and did the other side and flattened my leave out as well. I hope you guys liked this video. I am finished. I'm ready. I put on my yellow dress and to be honest, I'm supposed to be leaving right now. Um, but I couldn't leave without doing this last little outro for you guys. <laughs> so I hope you guys like my video. Please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you later.